Hi, this is Happy Bird from happybirdscraftinghaven.com and I'm here today to show you how to make some really cute and inexpensive guitar pick earrings. Now this wasn't my original idea. If you go to Google, type in the words um, guitar pick earrings and then images, you'll see hundreds of different designs. Um, I bought my guitar picks from a man on eBay who had really good feedback and I purchased um, 12 of these for um, $3.95 and the shipping I believe was so minute that um, I didn't really take note of it but the um, delivery was really fast and he has all kinds of colors and I'll post the link um, in the down bar here and um, the drop down bar I mean and the thing that you're going to need is, I mean, besides the guitar picks, <laughs> are some heart charms. You can buy them from eBay or Etsy, Fire Mountain Gems. Um, I bought these at Michael's. They were bead landing. And, um, you know, just decide what you want to use on your hearts. You'll need some 5 millimeter jump rings, um, some earring wires, and about a quarter inch length of chain, uh, a couple of them, you know, per pair. And you'll need um, some scrapbooking, uh, a scrapbook punch, or you can use a crop doll if you have that. I have a crop doll, but sometimes it's easier for me to see what I'm doing um, with this, so that's why I've got this this old thing here. <laughs> okay, um, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to punch a hole in it. Now, <clears throat> as far as the logo, some of the earrings I've seen um, with the logo in the front, others decide to turn around in the back. It's a personal choice as to um, whether you want this to show or not. Um, I'm wondering if you can maybe take some fingernail polish remover and remove the logo with this. I, I don't know if it would damage the um, the plastic or not. But anyway, um, I'll try that and see how it turns out. First thing you're going to do is you're going to want to punch a hole near the top but not um, not so far up that that it will um, split. <laughs> Okay, so you see that? Now what I do is once I punch that hole, I line up the two guitar picks and that way I can go back in and place this right in the same hole and you can even feel it if you move your punch around that it's in the hole there. And, um, sorry trying to see around this camera again. Okay, and then you're going to punch it. And as you can see, you have two even holes. Okay. Um, I showed you how to do that, but I'm going to use a different color for this pair. All right, um, I'm, I'm choosing to place this logo on the back of the earring. And the first thing I'm going to need is a 5 millimeter jump ring. Sometimes I like to just use this, um, the chain nose pliers in my fingers. Because <laughs> I can kind of feel around. Let me try another jump ring. I don't like that one. Okay. I can kind of feel where the split is with my finger now. Okay, so I have this open. And I'm going to slide this right in there. Then I'm going to take my charm and just slip it right on. And close it back up. Wiggle it back and forth until it closes. There we go. See, it's closed. Now I'm going to take 
another five millimeter jump ring. Gonna open that up. Have to feel with my nails again. And I'm gonna slip that through the um, jump ring. Now I'm going to hold on to this and take my little length of chain that was approximately a quarter of an inch. And um, you can make the chain how long you want. And let's see for a moment here. I'm going to look on this other one to see what I did. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Not good. Let me try that again, okay? I am just butterfingers tonight. Can't even get a grip on this. I can get through this, huh? Okay. Now I'm going to slip slip the chain on like that and close the jump ring. Okay. Alrighty. So now, I'm going to take this ear wire and bend this part. Now I'm going to hang this chain like this <clears throat> so it falls naturally. So I will kind of know which way to slip the chain on so it will hang evenly in the front. Now let's see if I got it right. Thank you for all your patience, too, by the way. <laughs> okay. Got it towards the front, I think. Do I? Yes, I do. <laughs> Success. Okay. Close this. I shouldn't have put hand lotion on my hands before I did this. <laughs> show you the other one as well that I did earlier and there we go so I think that these would make really lovely gifts and I think the young girls would really like them for Christmas so if you have a chance to do these they really are a lot of fun to make and um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you very much for watching God bless you all bye bye